channel Sandy Totero. My name is Laura. It is a pleasure to be with you guys today. I'm doing another yes or no pick a card reading. I have time for three piles today, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's been a few weeks since I put one out there and my subscribers know I like to keep a fresh one out there all the time because you guys have new questions all the time. So you guys can just think of your question that can be answered with a yes or no. Click on the timestamp in the description box below that corresponds to your pile, and you will go directly to that section in the reading. I'm not gonna take up too much time today with an intro because these are so wildly popular that pretty much everybody knows how to do these. I will put some guidelines in the description box in case you've never done a yes or no pick a card before, and that will give you some clues about how to pick. But Quite frankly, there's no right or wrong way. Just be pretty intuitive about it. However you choose is the right way for you. I will tell you the stones that we have on the piles today. On pile one is a garnet. On pile two is an obsidian. No, I'm sorry, that's a black tourmaline. That's not obsidian. On pile three is a verdite quartz. So make your decision, click on the timestamp, and I'll see you at your reading. Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile one for your yes or no pick a card reading, these are gonna be your messages. Pile one did have the garnet uh, on it, and I will tell the meanings of the stones today because I did pick blindly, and there might be a special meaning for you guys in that. So the garnet is really associated with the root chakra, which, has, which is about um, you know, vitality, energy, uh, being grounded and all those kinds of things. So a garnet will increase your energy and vitality if you carry one of, the, one of those around in the pocket with you or in your purse. Actually, not in your purse. In your pocket or in a cage. Like, or they say it, it should be close to you. It should be on you if you're going to use it um, to, as a healing stone. Uh, I will get your answer first, whether it's a yes or a no, or a maybe, it can be a maybe, I will warn you about that. Uh, I'll get the answer. That way, uh, you will have your answer up front for whatever your question might be. And then there's always an additional, additional message in the cards. There's some kind of story or some kind of message. I will tell you whatever I am picking up from the cards in addition to just the yes, no, or maybe. All right, now I'm gonna pull them all out at the same time today. We have a King of Pentacles, we have a Five of Cups, and we have a Will of Fortune. And let's see, for the Druid Craft Tarot, I'm using the Radiant uh, Rider Weight today. I'm giving my Universal Weight a little bit of a rest. I'm gonna be uh, reading at a fair this weekend, so they'll be used a lot. So I'm giving them a rest before the fair. Okay, so in addition to those cards, we have the Queen of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Okay, the first thing I notice in this reading are, is those three fives. That means change, my friends, freedom, sense of adventure. Okay. So this is a yes, and I do feel like it is a yes after a period of some difficulty, a period of, first of all, mourning, loss. So this is interesting. This Five of Pentacles usually is a card of poverty, but this is looking a little more like a card of loneliness uh, as opposed to the, the literal poverty, although it can mean a time of poverty. You, you do have the pinnacles down there. Uh, she's kind of a little bit in despair, like maybe she doesn't have enough money or whatever, but uh, it does look a little bit more like this than usual in the Druid Craft Tarot. So this talks about mourning. It can talk about loss. There's uh, some com competition here. It could be like a, a job loss, some kind of, um, job you were going for that the competition was pretty stiff on and you lost it although you know you thought you were a shoe in for the job that happens sometimes it did affect your finances of course 
but it also affected you kind of on an emotional level. For some of you, it can be an emotional thing. It's not necessarily, we've got cups and uh, coins represented in both ends of this reading. So for some of you, it's gonna be about relationships, family, friends, lovers. And for some of you, it's gonna be about finances, careers, opp job opportunities, financial loss, it's that kind of thing. So you've kind of been going through it a little bit, that is for sure. But this Wheel of Fortune here turning here like this means that the fortunes, uh, the wheel is turning in your favor. Fortune is shining upon you once again uh, and things are moving forward. So this is a yes. Uh, I do feel like it's a yes for, first of all, this Queen of Cups has some love here. Maybe there's an emotional healing for you. Maybe someone is actually offering you something in the way of romance, even though you thought it was not, it was not going to happen. Like maybe there was a breakup and now there's a healing in this situation and you will get back together because the wheel is turning. Something is turning. Something is changing here. This, uh, in, I'm always drawn to the moon. It's so vibrant. It's just so vibrant in this card. It always compels me to say, watch the moon cycles. This feels like something that's going to happen in the full moon. Now, full moons can be a card of release, uh, you know, releasing a cycle, can be uh, an ending of a cycle. But I feel like in this particular reading you're looking for the change to come through the yes to come through the healing to come through or the invitation to come through on the next full moon whenever uh, you are watching this this is a timeless reading for those of you that this is a financial situation particularly if it was you wanted a job there was a lot of competition for the job you did not get it it really made you sad you really felt the loss of that this is saying that did not happen because this is tenfold this is uh, what you would get from that job times 10. it's a much better job for you that's coming in it's a much better financial situation for you that's coming in it's complete abundance it's the king of pinnacles brings with it some prestige as well as actual money. That was not the job for you. Do not mourn that loss another second because something better is coming for you. It has your name all over it. If you did literally lose a job, like you were laid off or fired, there's another job coming in to you, for you. Same situation. Um, though it was sad, it may have, um, made you a little bit broke for a little while. Do not mourn that for another second. There's another job coming to you that is much, much better than that one. It's just, I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and see if I'm picking up anything else that needs to be said. Uh, fives are the agents of change. So that means, you know, change. It, it is changing. Your circumstances are changing. Sometimes fives are unpleasant and that's why they're the agents of change. It causes something to be done differently in your life, but in the end it works out and it's working out for you guys uh, very, very well. I'm going to see if I can get a time frame here. If you're dealing with any people, uh, this uh, Scorpio, Minor Arcana for Scorpio, Minor Arcana for Gemini. As I read the cards, I know a lot of people don't read that card that way, but that's how I read them. Okay, so I learned a long time ago, long, long time ago. All right. Because it is a pinnacle, it could be at one of the earth signs too, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but for, if it's a particular person, it's Gemini for me. All right. I want to see if I can get some time. Um, so this Wheel of Fortune, let's see if we can see when this wheel is turning in your favor. When is this happening? 
Show me the Wheel of Fortune. Can you give me a time frame on this change? This moving forward. Show me the 10 or that Wheel of Fortune. Oh, another 10. I will say that 10s are endings and beginnings at the same time. Because you got the 10 here, look to 10 weeks from now. Look to October because it is a timeless reading. Um, 10 days, 10 weeks, October. Can be 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months, or October. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave that there. I think that's pretty succinct as a message. And let's see. I'm gonna get a couple cards to finish this up because you do have, we do have some love in here from for some of you. I'm gonna see if there's any additional guidance that you guys might need in this situation uh, or additional messages about love. For those of you that this yes or no pick a card reading pertains to love, show us any final messages for pile one for my love people. For, uh, and when I say love, this is for relationship. Uh, like I said, it could be family, friend, uh, or lover that there's like an emotional healing, but that's all love. So let's see what, what final words of wisdom we got here from the Whispers of Love Oracle Cards. Spiritual connection, a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Oh, okay. Okay, so I do feel like this is a healing of an already existing relationship that's coming in. Maybe a family relationship. The fives are, because I have five sisters, the five sometimes reminds me of family. Uh, you got, um, so maybe if there has been some infighting in your family or something like that, there's definitely a healing that's coming in for you. If it is a love relationship and you are it ended, you are uh, mourning that loss or have been mourning that loss, this looks like to me, it is a soul connection. It is what, you know, I'm not saying that you only have one soul connection in your life. One soul mate, I hate to use that word because there's so many, there's so many different definitions for it. and and things have, ex people have expectations about soulmate. So I really don't like to use that word, but it's definitely a spiritual connection that it's not just this lifetime, but has been through multiple lifetimes. This looks like to me, if this really is like a lover's relationship, a love relationship, romance relationship, uh, it's coming back around because it's meant to be. It's like a soul connection for you in this lifetime, even if it has ended and it looks like there was at least a temporary um, timeout or something in this relationship, it's coming back around. There's gonna be a healing in this relationship because there is an actual spiritual connection. I'm drawn to this card uh, because this was the clarifier for the Wheel of Fortune and I did not say this when this card came out i was looking at the timing of it this is a card of emotional fulfillment it's the highest emotional fulfillment so whether that you're asking about or your question particularly pertains to relationship or whether it pertains pertains to career it's complete emotional fulfillment it's the highest that you can get C can also be a card of happy family mother father children but it's uh, it's the highest emotional fulfillment, whatever that means to you. Okay, I want to just get one final word uh, from our angels, ancestors, passed on loved ones. See if who wants to come through and provide a final message for pile one. And this is for the general people. If their question was not connected to relationship in whatever form that is. Okay, final words of wisdom for pile one. Final words of wisdom for pile one. Hi, 
priestess, harness mystic power. Uh, okay, so in general, and specifically, I think for these uh, these uh, um, pinnacle people, career people, job people, there's an element of intuition that you need to use right now when this opens up to you. Something's gonna open up to you, something, you get some fresh start in some way, maybe an, a job offer comes into you. Maybe you get a huge promotion at work. Whatever it is, there's, you, there's gonna be some intuition required to make decisions about this situation. So this is just saying be, an op be open to your intuition and follow your intuition. I know sometimes we have a tendency to want to ignore that, but uh, don't do it in this particular situation because it's gonna be very important. Okay, that's all I have for pile one. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Take care. Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile two for your yes or no pick a card reading, these are gonna be your messages. Pile two did have the black tourmaline on it. The black stones are all about protection from negativity. And this one will definitely absorb negativity. All right, so I will get the answer first. I will pull all these cards at the same time and tell you if it's a yes, a no, sometimes it is a maybe, I will tell you that. Um, that way you will at least have the answer to your question and then there are always additional messages in the cards. Sometimes there's a story that plays out. Sometimes there's additional messages about the yes or no. However that works out, I will tell you whatever messages I see in the cards. And if that pertains to you, fine. If it doesn't, uh, you can just go ahead and click off that part of it. At least you will have your answer to the yes or no part. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we got here. In the Radiant Rider Weight, you got the King of Cups, the Moon card, the uh, Ten of Wands. In the Druid Craft Tarot, you got the Fool, the World, oh, bam, Rebirth. Okay, wow. 20, 21, zero. Okay, I'm getting that this is a maybe, and I'm getting that it is entirely up to you. There is a choice here that needs to be made, and it looks like you are the one that has to make this choice. This could very easily be a no because you don't want to face it, what's going on. Or it could very easily be a yes. Yep, I'm gonna move forward. I'm going out on this adventure. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm definitely going forward. So that's why I say this is entirely up to you. There's something going on here beneath the surface. There's so much water here in this right here. You've got Cancer energy, you got Pisces energy. There's very watery, murky stuff going on here. You don't know actually what all is going on. There's a little bit of deception. Uh, there actually could be a lot of deception. You are moving forward blind right now you are at you are wore out from whatever this is you're moving forward based on just your instincts now i will tell you this the message of this card is when you wake up you will find that you are in the right place but you you have no help right now navigating this situation and it's and it's it's because of I hate to say this, but it's because of you. It's because you don't want to look at whatever this is that's going on. If you do make the decision to wake up, 
why I don't know why I'm wanting to be so rude here. I because I just got wake up and smell the coffee, <laughs> which is a very rude thing to say, but it's it's kind of it's kind of like that. This trumpet is sounding loudly. You come out of your tomb. You've almost been like a little bit in a coffin here, a little bit dormant, uh, because it's almost, it's almost like, I don't want to, I don't want to look, I don't want to look. I'm just going to stay here and I'm just going to be, um, blah. And I'm just going to pretend like this negativity and there's, ne it's, it's negative. It's not, it's not happy. There's no happiness here. It's dreary, it's boredom, it's dreary, it's drudgery. It's trickery, it's deceit. It's not even nice drudgery. And, uh, and maybe even some emotional manipulation that's going on here too. But you have to, in order to make this a yes, in order to turn this thing around, you've got to make the decision to wake up and look at what is happening. And when you do that, you will have a rebirth and you will be able to move forward. There is a whole world out there that is waiting for you to say no to this, to say yes to it. There is a, a, a beautiful adventure out there for you the the cycle can end if you want it to end it will end you will be able to move forward into something that is much more for you it will be an exciting adventure for you you don't know how it's going to turn out for sure but my feeling is it is a step in the right direction, and it does require a leap of faith from you. But what is the alternative? That's what I want to ask you. What is the alternative? More of the same, more of this. I, I get the fear behind this. I get that this is, it's kind of like the devil that you know kind of thing. This is the devil that you know. So it's gotten comfortable. It's gotten even complacent. Um, it has beat you down for sure. You, your soul, it has beat your soul down. But it's time to wake up, move forward. Let this be over. Let this be complete. And if you do that, I promise you the, world, the, the cycle will turn forward. This can be a completion and a new beginning for you. I have, to, I have to be nosy here. What turns this into a yes? That's what I want to know. What will turn this into a yes? Uh, for some of you, this might be, oh gosh, I hate to go this deep in this, but this might be a relationship thing that is not good and you're afraid of, like maybe even it's a marriage and it would require a divorce or something. You're afraid of not having anything when you leave this relationship. Look at that. He's got um, nothing but a pack and his trusty companion and his faith. That's it. That's all he's stepping out on, which... I get, can be very, very scary. But again, I go back to the alternative. Is it really? Really? Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm done with the lecture. Um, what turns this into yes? What will turn this into a yes? Show me how we can turn this into a yes. What will turn this into a yes? Okay, what do we got here? We got the justice card. We got the seven of wands. And we got the ace of pentacles. It looks like actually, uh, what turns this into a yes is you standing fast. You, you making the decision and saying, yep, 
I'm moving forward. I can't do this anymore. I'm standing fast in this decision. There will be pressure for you not to. I will warn you about that. But you stand fast. You do it legally if you have to. Justice is on your side. You will have uh, the money that you need to be able to go out to do whatever is next whether that's in the form of a new job that, that pays more money, whether it's in the form of actually somebody giving you money, or whether it's in the form of winning it in a lawsuit, going to court. However that comes to you, it does come to you. Um, and here's what, this is what turns it into a yes. Just you making the decision, yes, I'm doing this, and, 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 uh, holding fast to that decision, defending that decision, even when the pressure starts for you not to, uh, and taking it through the, the all proper legal channels to make it real. And that, I hate to say this, but for a lot of you, that's, a, that's actually a literal divorce situation. Okay, I have to leave that there. Uh, um, let's see, could it, it could, okay, so this can be karmic justice, so this situation is not necessarily a bad relationship, but it's something that's going on in your world that's very murky, that, and there's, there's deception all around you, and this is very draining, whatever that is, it could be a job situation, you know, you're in a bad place in your job, it's draining you, you don't want to look at it, but if you do decide to look at it, the, you can move forward, take the leap of faith. If this is not actual legal justice that is helping you get the finances that you need to take this leap of faith, then it's karmic justice. It's, it's, uh, um, it's kind of like, hmm, it's, it, it is right that you should have what you need to be able to do this. It's almost like the universe is helping you do this because this is what needs to happen. Okay. So I'm going to turn to our angels and ancestors. That was deep. That's the most intense reading I've had in a long time. I don't like to get, I like to be positive, you know, but uh, sometimes people need a little bit of a kick in the butt. And I'm telling you, I think you guys need a little bit of a kick in the butt here. You're just wasting your life. You're wasting your potential. Not wasting your life. I hate to say that because there's always lessons. In every situation that we come into, there's lessons to be learned. And, you know, you, you're in those situations for a reason because of lessons that you might have to learn. No judgment there. We've all been there. But have you let it go on for too long? That's the question. Okay. Final words of wisdom from our angels and ancestors. What final messages do you have for pile two? We need some love on this reading, man. Oh, white witch, be the light. That just popped out. We're going to take it. Look at that. Be the light. Okay, I gotta get the book out on this because I know what that means, you know, just in general, but because of this reading is so intense, I wanna be sure I get the right message on this. Oh, that's it right there. That's it. Take the higher road and choose the light. Remove yourself from lower energy experiences. Bam, that's it. That cannot be any more clear. All right, that's all I have for pile two. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Take care. Welcome back, my friends. If you chose pile three, these are gonna be your messages for the yes or no pick a card. And pile three did have the verdict quartz on it. I am telling the meanings this time because I did choose these blindly. So the verdict quartz helps you access and harmonize your 
past with your present so that it won't affect you in the future. And it re helps you retrieve information from the ancient ones. So it is a good stone for past life regression. Also, all green stones have to do with abundance and um, the earth and harmony. Okay. I'm gonna get the message first. I'm gonna tell you whether it's a yes, a no, or a maybe. After you get the answer to your question, there's gonna be some other additional messages in here. It could be uh, uh, more information about the yes or no, or there could be a story that comes out. I will tell you whatever I see in the cards. Uh, it may pertain to you or it may not. If it doesn't, let it go. And if it does, then you can stick around and listen to that part of it too. But at least you will have your answer to your question. Okay. So for the Radiant Rider Waite, you have the High Priestess, the Four of Pentacles, and the Justice card. For the Druid Craft Tarot, you got the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Swords and the Six of Cups. Okay, this is a yes. Yeah, this is a yes. I'm getting down here, I'm getting with these two very much a daydreaming kind of card, figuring out what it is that you want. Um, this is a, a card of childhood and nostalgia. This is a card of having a lot of options and trying to figure out which, which thing it is that you want. Uh, I think that you have been doing that. I think that you've been doing it on a mental level, maybe manifesting or trying to manifest what it is that you want next or what it is that you're daydreaming about. For some of you, what it is that you wanted when you were a child, uh, maybe lost track of that and are now going back to it. Whatever it is, it's been on an intuitive level. It's been in the mind. Eh, it's not necessarily mind, but mind, spirit on that level. You are figuring out how to make it tangible. This sword of, this is karmic justice or it can be legal justice. It's also the major arcana for Libra too. But it's that they've got the sword of truth there, which you are coming to from this, which is a time of study, research, uh, using your mental abilities to get clarity on this situation and how to make it a reality. You're getting some information through from somewhere. Could even be, you know, information that's coming into you, like through an email or a phone message or some something like that. But there's clarity involved in it. There's you get the clarity that you need to make it real. This is talking about making it tangible, making it come into you in the everyday, in the real world on the earth plane. So yes, this is a yes for taking your desires and turning them into a reality. I'm gonna get a clarifier on this seven of swords and this together because this is what makes it real. Uh, you get this information somehow. Some clarity comes into you. So I wanna get a, a clarifier on this right here to see when this is gonna happen. For you, this is a timeless reading, so we'll get as, as specific or as clear as we possibly can. So show us the seven of cards and let us know when, when this information or this clarity comes in. Show us the seven of swords. Show us the seven of swords. Ace of Swords. Okay, that's one. Uh, uh, okay, so it's one day, one week, one month, one year. It's one. It's imminent. That clarity is coming right into you. Uh, as far as timing, 
It's also winter. The Ace of Swords is winter time for me, so that would be uh, December, January, February. So, for some of you, it's in the winter time. Uh, you know, I don't know when you're watching this. So, for some of you, it's one one day, one week, one month. It's soon. It's very soon. Um, you get this clarity and it helps you move in this direction. Whatever this is for you that you've been desiring, it provides you a foundation and stability. You know, I talked about this being abundance and earth things. I feel like this is a very earthly, earthy uh, type of stability, which means food, clothing, shelter, uh, jobs, uh, maybe education that leads to more income later on, but it's very a very earthy thing. Whatever it is, it provides a stable foundation for you. And maybe even a stable foundation for you and your family if you're if you're thinking that you want to have children. Okay, I think that's pretty succinct as far as the message is concerned. Uh, let's just see what final words of wisdom Spirit has for y'all. That was quick, I know, but that's what I'm getting from that. What final words of wisdom for pile three? Water Guardian. Connect with your emotions. So that is interesting. I, I'm going to put that right up here because by this high priestess because, you know, this is uh, very much intuition. It's that watery kind of intuition. It's that uh, feminine kind of intuition that you're using here to... to Manifest this, whatever it is that you want. Make sure that it, you have an emotional connection to what it is that you're trying to manifest here because it's gonna, you're gonna figure out how to do it. There's gonna be, it, there's, it's gonna move into the reality very soon. So make sure you're connected with it emotionally and it's not just uh, money. It's not just practical because that's fine for a while you know we all need to stabilize but long term there there especially if it's a job you have to have some emotional connection to to it or it's not gonna it's not gonna mean anything in the end it's not gonna be cool in the end okay that's all i have for pile two until next time i'm sending you lots of light and love take care